in the 60s. I managed to get a job at Look magazine. Elizabeth Taylor had said she'd give Look an interview, but they said no pictures. At the end of the interview, I went over to her and I said, Elizabeth, my name is Douglas Kirkland, and I'm new with this magazine. Could you imagine what it would mean to me if you'd give me the opportunity to photograph you? She thought for a moment and said, okay, come tomorrow night at 8.30. I did, and that was the beginning of my career as a celebrity photographer. Douglas has just the most classic look you can get. Just iconic, there's nothing dated about the pictures that are made today versus that he made 50 years ago. People frequently think I'm principally a celebrity photographer, and yes, I've done a lot of that, but you know what my favorite subject is? Photography itself. I feel I have a lot to say, and I really care passionately about photography. Douglas is a photographer that will shoot anything. So let's put these back in the bag and uh, be off. It's exciting, we got a shoot to do. He'll shoot a supermodel one day and the next day be photographing jewelry. I think that's one of the reasons why Douglas is where he is today, is because he's constantly working and he'll take every opportunity he can to take a picture. Today, I was photographing a friend of mine who's very special, Amiko. She's with the Harlem Ballet now, and she is wonderful. I want you to do what you feel is best. She's going to be part of our Cincinnati show, and it will ship out tomorrow. One, two, three, go. In the 2000s, Douglas photographed Elle Fanning as a ballerina. So they have a whole section on dancers. So we're including Emiko in this. Could you imagine calling somebody on a phone, having them come over, taking pictures of them, One, and then two, sending the pictures three. a couple of days later? That was unthinkable. OK. Well done. Thank you, Douglas. When we come back from shooting, I usually take the CF card out of the camera and download it onto the computer, and then Douglas will go through everything and pick his selects. Wow, yeah, that, that is you're exploding there. <laughs> I will just bring the cropping tool to where it feels right. With the traditional darkroom printing, there's a lot of creative process that's involved in that. And if the photographer can see the vision through all the way to the end, then that's their true vision. You see, it's interesting. That may not be traditional, but boy, it is sure good. Yeah, the flow. I like it, actually. I like it a lot. We're ready for printing, and we've got two 20 by 24s in the print in front office. The printer we're currently using is the Canon IPF 8400. It's a 44-inch printer. We sometimes print a lot they'll all be great quality because we've set everything up, the profile, you know, the type of paper, and once you do that, you just click print. If you want to have longevity in your career, one is by doing books, and I've done many of those, and the other way is in making prints. It's pretty impressive, the workflow that we have today. I mean, just this morning, you were on the photo shoot shooting Emiko dancing, and they're gonna be included in the show. The gallery requested photos like of Marilyn Monroe, Mick Jagger, Coco Chanel, so we have stuff from Douglas's early career up to the most recent. We also printed The Sound of Music today, which is a print we've had for a long time and printed over and over again. If you compare it to what we did today, it's very, impressive to think about because we've had this one print, The Sound of Music, for so long and worked on it. We can get the same quality from a picture we took this morning and fed it through the same process and it looks just as good as something we've been working on for years. This is done with a little pocket camera. What is it called? The S100. For Douglas, being a professional in the era that he has been, he often didn't have total creative control from shoot to print. Douglas painted the picture of how much of a privilege it is for us to have printers that you can just get exactly what you want. A good picture is a good picture, but a good picture printed six feet wide is amazing. <laughs> this doesn't look like it's done with a camera. We've made this about three times this size. There's a man in Texas got one, I think 20 feet long. Prints are the ultimate image. It's the backside of the process. I've always felt that the back end of the camera hadn't quite been invented. With Photoshop, I could do it. 
the 8400 is doing the other part of it. And if you do not have a superb printer, you're really confining yourself, you're limiting your career. I'm very pleased with this, you know, it's astonishing to me. I would not want to make prints if they weren't of the highest quality. I don't want to degrade my photography. I would rather not print. Honestly, we run a business. If I'm selling a print to you for X thousands of dollars, and you are buying an image that you like and feel is worth that, it has to have longevity. You can't have it bleach out within a year or two. And that's not gonna happen with any product you create with the 8400. You know, photography is almost unlimited. Go further, push it. Your equipment can do it and you can do it. That's the joy of photography. And that's what I breathe and live for. That is my life. That's Douglas Kirkland.